Hi folks, we figured out how to get our Haas VM3 table modeled up in Fusion 360 to fit with the four orange vices that we've got. So this is a Fusion Friday on mostly using the joints to get this to work. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. Here is the VM3 model. I don't care about anything today except the table. So clicking all these other components, hit the delete key on my keyboard, left with my table. I'm in the sculpt mode, don't know why, don't care, model. And then the most annoying thing about Fusion 360, I wish they would fix this. Right click, capture, design, history. Everything I'm hap that's happening from here on out, I want to happen parametrically where I save my design history. You can always uh, get rid of that if you want, but if you don't do that, God, it bites you in the butt. I emailed Orange Vice and asked them to send a CAD model because uh, there's one in Cam Samples work holding, but it's actually outdated. It's uh, an old style and the dimensions have changed. So here's the vice I want to use. I'm going to right click and say insert into current design. It's oriented incorrectly. This probably doesn't matter, but I will go ahead and use the ray or button thing here. Move this down 90 degrees. And that's actually, you know, I'm going to actually move it out of the way for now. Just like there. Click OK. Now, this is the whole vice. If you see the component here, has components within it which I had turned off visibility of when I was playing with this because I don't care about them and I don't want this linked back you, you could um, see this little chain link here that means if I go and edit the original file back here uh, it would flow through to this file but you know in this instance I'm, I'm okay breaking that link break link cool now, I am also going to delete some, or actually we're going to do some housekeeping on this vice first. I don't want um, the screws right here uh, because I want to keep this model as clean and lean as possible. Those screws don't really add any value to me now. Yeah, I could go add them back later for some reason I had to. I also want to get rid of these nuts, the carve smart stuff. So if I start expanding these center jaws. If I click on that once, see how it underlines the clamp nut right there? So I'm going to click that, hit delete. And this did something funny. I deleted a bunch of them when I was playing around with this. I guess it's not doing it now. I'm also going to create some rigid groups. So right now, I can move the body, I can move the jaw, I can move the carve smart. But some of these things are, for all intents and purposes, meant to stay together. Assemble rigid group. I want this and this to be rigid. Right click, hold down, swipe up. That repeats your rigid group. This, this, and this are all a group. And these two are a group. Rigid group one constraints, selected components. I think that's okay never knowingly seen that before. So now these all move together, which is what I want. Now's the tricky part. This took me a while to figure out. How the heck do I mount this thing on my table in the location that I want it? So I use the front large hole uh, with one of the orange ball couplers along through a T-nut in this third row right here. So that was a big clue when I was working on how to do this. So what I want to do is create some way to align the vise over that third row. Assemble joint origin. And instead of simple, between two faces. Zoom in here. I'm going to click that face and that face. Now it says place an origin. So if you take a look, navigate around to get the right view. If I hold my mouse over this top corner 
and I try to select that, I lose my selection. But go back, put my mouse right here, hold the control key, and that locks it in. Now I can click that little point right there. Take a look at your view cube here, and you can see I have created a coin. I can't even see the coin. Let me rotate. There you go. The coin is at the very top of the table. That's exactly where I want it. The chamfers make that difficult because you can't use this big face here. Uh, and it's easy to pick the wrong because I think you've got a middle point and a bottom point. So pay attention. Uh, this is even trickier too because my computer is a little bit laggy on this. Uh, so just patience is a virtue. But now here's the problem. That coin is actually oriented incorrectly. See how it's up and down? I want it laying down flat. So I'm going to click reorient. And I'll be honest, I don't totally understand the logic here. Because I would think this would be the z-axis. But it's not. If I hold my mouse here and click, I get uh, my sort of triad correctly with something pointing up forward and to the right. And the coin is laying down flat. And again, importantly, it's on that plane of the top of my uh, middle table. So I'm going to click OK. Joint, assemble, joint. Um, now I started with pin slot. That's the wrong one, but eh, I'll show you how I did it. Component 1. Remember, that's the component that always gets moved to the next object, or component 2. Hold control down with my mouse right here. That lets me come in here and pick this. Again, that's the bottom of the vice body and the center of that ring. And now component two is that coin I just created. See how I hover that? Click that guy. So pin slot lets it pivot around like that. That was the mistake I just mentioned. Easy to fix. Just change the type to slider. And now you can see perfect. If when you do a slider, if it's moving the wrong way, like it's moving like that or that, just change the slide axis back to X in this case. Click OK. Good news is I've got my vice. Oops, a great point. So we need to ground our table. See how this thing is all moving around? So right click on VM3 table. Ground. Yeah, continue. Awesome. Now I can move this vice body left to right, which is kind of cool because that's what I can do in real life, but actually it's bolted down, and it's bolted down at sort of a known location. I want it 9 and 3 eighths inch off, eighth of an inch off this face right here. Assemble, joint, continue, planer. I just struggled with this one for a while. I think I got it. So I want this plane... So I got, you got to pick a location. So I'm just going to pick the center of this thing. And I'll pick the center of this um, end right here. It doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter, I guess. Uh, so I want them planar. So click OK. thought I could... What's wrong? Why isn't it working here? Cancel. See, that happens to me too. Joint. Component one, so we we'll switch it to planar. Component one, we'll say is this. Component two, say is this. There we go. Do you want to continue? I do. So see how it does that? It's like, ah, that's not what I wanted. Um, so flip it because I want it upright. So see how it used the origins to basically move the vice thing down, which isn't going to stick. So this is super weird. I'm not super crazy about this, but it works. Now I need to move it in um, 9.375 inches, and I'm never sure which direction it is. I assume it's negative X, but what I just basically do is I grab the handle I want, and I see which way it's moving. So ha, no, sure enough, it's Z. So I'm going to say negative 9.375. And you can't see it yet, which stinks. Although if I hide my mill table, you can see it's there. When I click OK, it should pop. Nope. Darn it. Assemble, joint, planer, here, here. I think I had to switch. Um, 
z versus x. Yeah, maybe it was z axis. So planar, I think that's what it is, planar along there. Um, but, and not flipped, I want it upright. God, that's annoying. Um, and right now, I want to move it over negative, negative 9.375. Click OK. Boom. So I'm not going to defend that as being intuitive, but sometimes you got to do stuff to make it work. And that seems to work. And most importantly, it seems to be correct. Assemble joint slider. We're going to have, let's see here. Can I do this? Slide in there, but in X, how about Y? Okay, no offset. He carries the offset through, which to me is is not uh, is not correct. So I picked the wrong origin uh, joint origin. So I got to fix that again. I think we can actually do it. Um, somebody tell me there's a better way. But if I pick the mid plane. See, that's the problem. This mid-plane is not totally accurate because of that chamfer. Chamfers really screw you here on this stuff. Um, and I don't want to create joint origins for a bunch of silly things like this. Um, so someone tell me if there's a better way, but I think I can now pick um, a joint origin here for planar in Y, was it? Uh, sorry, slider. And no offset. Um, click animate again to see it, what it was going to do. Okay, perfect. Why are you that far off though? Uh, I could re-pick the origins, or you're going. I'm going. I was going to adjust it anyways. Sort of see. Um, the more you zoom in, the more fine your mouse movement adjustments are. But I think we're just going to say negative 0.85. Perfect. I got lucky there. Click OK. So now I've got my movable sliding. The fix is pretty easy. J for joint. I'll say put the front right hole in, we'll say right here. And that can be rigid and that should take care of it. Ooh. Oh yeah, there's I say put where it are. Ooh, what's going on? I swear, somebody look at my settings. I swear I had that done correctly. I have an offset in there? Yeah, I did. Sorry. I lied. Because we created the rigid groups at the beginning, too, the car smart shall stay with us, which is super helpful. And same thing for the last movable. And it should be the same amount of an offset. Sometimes it goes the other way. You've got to say, no, oh, no. Nope. 8.025, this is why I'd like to be better. Here it's not super, super critical to be spot on, but you know, Fusion, there should be a better way to do that dead nuts accurate. I don't care about the name plates for the orange vice. And again, we want to keep this model, we want to keep things like fasteners, like screws out of it, because those really are taxing on your graphics uh, you know, the GPU and just on Fusion in general or on any CAD software. So I've got the one vice, modify, just kidding, create pattern, rectangular pattern. I'm going to pick components. I'll pick the vice right here, directions along this line. I will say spacing, uh, quantity, spacing, these are three and a half inches apart. Uh, but spacing, you have to add the thickness of the part as well, which is six inches. So it'll actually be a distance of 9.5. And there's actually four of them. Why aren't you showing up? Oh, suppress was checked, I guess. Click OK. There we go. Uh, turn off my joint light bulb. I don't want to see them. Now there's one problem, what's kind of weird. The first vise is perfect. The body doesn't move, the jaws do move. The second vise, the whole thing moves, even though I created that pattern. Same thing with the third. So I think the best way to solve this is to do another assemble, 
rigid group and I can just click the body of the table, sorry, and then I can click one, two, three, all at once, and now I've got independent jaws that move correctly, but my bodies are secure. So folks, hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. See you next Friday.